Explaining every Garden Warfare character in 60 seconds. Starting with the plants, you've got the Pea Shooter. This is the character that everyone chooses first. It's as default as you can get. He shoots high damage single shot peas that are effective at long range, but works best at medium range. His first ability is the Chili Bean Bomb. It's a grenade, basically. You throw it, and after a few seconds, it explodes. His next ability is P Gatling, where you dig yourself into the ground and basically become a stationary turret. You can then shoot faster automatic rounds at the trade-off of less damage. Additionally, you'll become a target for every single zombie in the game and get blown up in seconds. His final ability is called Drugs, where you get a temporary speed boost and can jump insanely high. The great thing about the P-Shooter is that, while he's very simple to play and great for newcomers, he also has a really high skill ceiling, especially because of a certain feature that I'll talk about later, a -tier. The next plant is the Sunflower, which is basically the healing character. But rather than being entirely support-based, she's actually really powerful offensively. Her main attack is an automatic rifle that she shoots out of her face that deals a decent amount of damage, but her abilities make her stand out. Her first ability is the Hero Shooter Heal Beam. You know, the thing that's in every single class-based video game? Yeah, that's, that's the ability. Her second ability is Sunbeam, where you dig into the ground and become Homelander. And her final ability is the Heal Flower, which allows you to plant a flower that provides healing to you and your teammates anywhere on the map. The Sunflower isn't my favorite character, but if you don't have at least one on your team, you're not gonna go very far. Beta. The next character is the Chomper, which is the big guy. Additionally, this is the only melee character in the game. You attack people by biting them, or you can go full on spy and attack people from behind to get a not so instant instant kill. His first ability is purple goo. If you cover someone in your goo, shut up, they get slowed down massively, which makes them much easier to kill. His second ability is burrow, where you dig under the ground and can chomp zombies from below. His last ability is spike weed, which is a camouflage trap that will damage and grab any zombies that accidentally walk into it. Personally, this is my least favorite character. Having to get up so close to every single person you want to kill can be really difficult when there's more than like two of them. Eater. The final plant is the cactus, and this is the sniper. Kinda. Not, not really, but it's like the closest character to a sniper. The cactus shoots single shot high damage spikes that are most effective at long range. However, spamming this will cause your accuracy to lessen over time. Her first ability is potato mine, which is pretty much just a landmine. You put it down and if a zombie walks over it, they get blown up. Her second ability is garlic drone, which is probably one of the most powerful single abilities in the game. By using it, you gain control of a flying drone that you can use to not only shoot people with, but launch full-on airstrikes on people too. But it has really low health, so you gotta really focus on your positioning. And finally, she has Tallnut Battlement, where she puts down a walnut wall that can be used to protect you from incoming fire. Overall, I think that the cactus is probably my favorite plant, because while it's not as consistently powerful as the pea shooter, I feel like it's a lot more fun at least for me. S tier. Now, onto the zombies. Also known as everyone's favourite, let's be honest. It's, it's everyone's favourite, okay? We don't need to lie. They're cooler, alright? First up, there's the foot soldier. And, okay, you know when I said that the pea shooter was as default as you could get? I lied. This guy is. This is the Jonesy of this game. His primary attack is gun. Shoot gun, bullets kill. His first ability is Yes. It's a grenade that both creates a smoke cloud that lowers visibility and damages plants that stay in it. His second ability is Rocket Jump, which is probably the most useful ability in the game. It gives you an absolutely huge boost into the air that allows you to get pretty much wherever you want on the map, which is very useful when there are like no invisible barriers anywhere. Yes, you heard me. I'm going to talk about it later. His third ability is ZPG, which is a rocket launcher. You charge up a rocket that does an unbelievable amount of damage, which is both incredibly satisfying to land and the equivalent of a FNAF jump scare if you're playing as a plant. The Foot Soldier is, without a doubt, the best character in the game, and probably is the most fun to play, but it's also the sweatiest character in the game, so he goes in S and F tier. Next up is the Engineer. No, not, not that one. That's, that's the wrong guy. Yep, yeah, no, that's him. 
Yeah, good job. The engineer is equipped with a gun that shoots concrete projectiles that explode on impact. Jesus, where was his creativity with the foot soldier? His first ability is Sonic Grenade, where he throws a megaphone that stuns anybody in its explosion radius, including burrowing chompers. His next ability is the Zombot Drone, and by using it, you gain control of a flying drone that can be used to not only shoot people with, but launch full-on airstrikes on people too. Hang on, I've said this before. And his last ability is the Jackhammer, which increases your movement speed massively and shows off your ass a bit more. But additionally, the engineer can also set up teleporters at certain points in the maps, along with defense sentries around it. This alone makes the engineer really powerful for the team. And he's also just really fun. A tier. Next, there's the scientist. His main weapon is a goo blaster that's only really effective at close range. It's basically a shotgun. His sticky explodey ball ability is a sticky grenade. It's Kind of boring, to be honest. But next, he's got a straight up tracer blink ability. After charging for a second, you teleport forward in a straight line, which is both useful for mobility and sneaking behind opponents. And finally, he's got the zombie heal station, which heals any zombies within its radius. Being the only real healer zombie, this character is nowhere near as strong as the sunflower, in my opinion. At least when it comes to supporting your team. But he's still fun, don't get me wrong, so he goes in C tier. And finally, the last character in Garden Warfare is the All-Star. This is the big guy. Again. He's equipped with a straight-up mini-gun and has the most health of any character in the game. His first ability is Exploding Baby. He boots a newborn at the enemies and the fucker detonates. His next ability is Sprint Tackle, where he charges forward, both dealing damage to and knocking back anyone in its path. And lastly, he has the Dummy Shield, which is a shield that you can put down. Now while this character sounds extremely overpowered, in practice he isn't amazing, but he can still be powerful if you have competent teammates. B tier. First up on the plants is Colonel Korn. His main attack, called Cob Busters, is an automatic rifle. It's basically the plant equivalent of the foot soldier's gun. His first ability is Butter Barrage, which is pretty much an airstrike. His next ability is called Husk Hop, where he does the sickest thing I've ever seen, oh my god! You do a big flip, and shoot downwards. His final ability is called Shock Shot, where he charges up and shoots a rocket that does a lot of damage. You ain't fooling me, Popcap. I know what you're doing. Automatic rifle, grenade, big jump, big rocket. This is just the Foot Soldier. While I understand why they want the plants to have a character like the Foot Soldier, since he is the best character in the game, they could have changed it a little bit more. The airstrike and leap abilities are different enough, but come on, this is literally the same. Still goes an ace here, though. Next up is... There? The Rose is a very unique character. Her main attack is called Magic Thistles, which fires slow-moving projectiles that actually home in on targets. They don't do much damage because of this, but all you need to do is hover your crosshair over the enemy, and it's almost guaranteed to hit. Her first ability is called Time Snare, where she throws a grenade that slows down any zombies in its radius. Her next ability is called Arcane Enigma, which makes you invulnerable for a limited time, but at a cost of the power's length, you can damage nearby zombies. Her last ability is called Goatify, which just straight up turns zombies into goats. I guess someone must have used that one on me. I honestly thought this character wasn't going to be that good, but she's so easy. I barely even have to aim. I love it. But I do feel like her abilities are a little lacking, mostly because I've hit a total of zero people with the goat ability. Beta. And finally, for the plants, you've got Citron. Citron is Wrecking Ball from Overwatch, except it came out before Overwatch, so in reality, Wrecking Ball is Citron from Garden Warfare. His main attack is Orange Beam, and they didn't lie. It does pretty horrific damage, to be honest, but it is very accurate. His first ability is EM Peach, which is a very clever name. It's a stun grenade that prevents zombies from using their abilities. His next ability is Citron Ball, which turns you into a ball, which makes this the fastest character in the game by far. While in ball form, you can use a speed boost ability to go even faster, or go bowling. His last ability is Peel Shield, where you put up a shield that you can shoot through, but enemies can't. Overall, I think that Citron is very fun to play, but he isn't very good. He's good at not dying, but he's also not very good at killing people. D tier. Now, onto the zombies. First up is Captain Deadbeard. He has two main attacks, Scatter Shot, 
and spyglass shot. When not aiming down sights, you shoot a shotgun blast that only works at close range. But when aiming, it becomes a long range weapon. His first ability is called Barrel Blast, not to be confused with the Donkey Kong Wii game, Barrel Blast. You hop inside a barrel, Mario Party 2 style, which shields you from damage, and if you light the fuse, you can blow up any plants near you. His next ability is Parrot Pal. By using it, you gain control of a flying parrot that you can use to not only shoot people with, but even launch airstrikes on people too. Oh, come on! And finally, he has Cannon Rodeo, where you hop on a big cannon and you can shoot people. Beat it. Next up is Super Brains, with a Z on the end. Um, which makes it cool. This is the zombie's melee character. He attacks by punching enemies, but he can also shoot a laser out of his fist when aiming. His first ability is Super Ultra Ball, which is a Hadouken, but... Purple. He next has the Turbo Twister, where he spins around very fast and sucks in any nearby plants, damaging them. And finally, he has Heroic Kick, which launches you forward, dealing damage. This character is... So fun. Unless you're going up against the surprisingly common return of Jesus H. Christ, you can absolutely decimate an entire team if they just don't turn around. The abilities are fun, he has great movement, and punching people is so much easier than shooting people. Eight it. And finally, there's the Imp. And this is the most complex character in the entire game. His main attack is two automatic pistols that have a ridiculous fire rate. His first ability is Gravity Grenade, which sucks in any nearby plants into its center, making them a very easy target. He next has Imp Cata, where he spins around rapidly while shooting. Now, this character has very low health, but that's because his last ability is a mech suit. It takes some time to charge up, but once it's available, you can call in a mech, which completely changes how the character's played. Your primary weapon is a laser that does very high damage, but overheats over time. The first mech ability is Missile Madness, where you shoot tons of high damaging missiles. I can't lie, this is very broken. Next up, you have Explosive Escape, which is basically a self-destruct. And finally, you have Robo Stomp, where you stomp down, crushing any zombies near you. This character is too good. He's going in S tier because I am scared of what will happen if I put him any lower. Now you may think that's every character, but no. What if I told you that there are two secret unlockable characters, Torchwood and Hovergoat 3000? What do I think about them? Well, I wouldn't know. I never unlocked them. Listen, I tried, okay. I tried very hard. You have to unlock this entire secret area, which involved me having to glitch through a wall. And then I found out it would take me like a month to unlock everything. I don't have a month to spare. I have to make video and take a nap. You're both going to need to.